We call this programming, which makes us sound smart and it sounds scary and complicated, but really all we're doing is entering numbers into the controller just like we might enter numbers into a calculator. These are the numbers we're going to enter. This is a firing schedule. It describes what's known as a ramp hold firing program. This graph illustrates why it's called a ramp hold program. The rows of the table represent the segments of this schedule. It has five segments. Each one is numbered. In this first segment, we're instructing the kiln to ramp or change temperature at a rate of 300 degrees per hour until it reaches 1050 degrees and then hold there for 30 minutes before moving on to segment two. In segment two, we want the kiln to ramp at a rate of 100 degrees per hour until it reaches 1300 degrees and then hold there for 20 minutes before moving on to segment three. In segment three, we want the kiln to ramp as fast as it can until it reaches 950 degrees and then hold there for 75 minutes before moving on to segment number four. And so on until segment number five is complete and the kiln switches off. Firing schedules vary from project to project. Use the schedule that accompanies the project you are making. It's a good idea to have your firing schedule written down in front of you when you go to enter it into the controller. This is a scut kiln equipped with a key entry pad. The exact steps and terminology will vary from one make of kiln to another, but the process is largely the same. Read the instructions that came with your kiln. In the program section of the keyboard, I'm going to press ramp hold. The controller can keep track of your frequently used firing schedules in its memory for later recall, and those are numbered Program 1, Program 2, etc. I'll just call this Program 1, and so press Enter. Now it says SEGS, followed by a number. How many segments does the schedule have? Five, right? So we press 5, then Enter. Now the indicator says RA1. It's asking for the rate or ramp in segment one. The rate in segment one is 300, right? Enter 300, press enter, and the readout changes to degrees F1. It's asking for the target temperature in segment one, which appears to be 1050. 1050 enter and the readout changes to HLD1. It wants to know the hold time in segment one. Looks like 30 minutes. So I will enter 30, press enter, and the readout moves on to segment two. What is the rate for segment number two? It's 100. Now the target temperature for segment two 1300 and the hold time for segment 2 20 minutes rate segment 3 9999 target temperature segment 3 950 hold time segment 3 75 minutes Ramp rate, segment four, 150. Target temperature, segment four, 750. And the hold time, 20 minutes. Ramp rate, segment five. Target temperature, segment five. Hold time, segment five. And that's it the firing program is entered. Here we have an opportunity to set an alarm that will go off when the firing is complete. I'm just going to skip that. And we're done.
press start and the controller will execute the program as we entered it. <laughs> 